सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल हाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर कैलकुलेशन यूजिंग द वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर ओके सो मैनी आर टाइम्स आई हैव फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम एस पेरेंट्स दैट दे आर नॉट एबल टू डील विद कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर द रूट कॉज बिहाइंड दिस इज दैट वेन वी वर डीलिंग विद कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इन आर क्लास ट्वेल्थ और क्लास इलेवेंथ देन वी डिड नॉट पे मच अटेंशन वी डिड नॉट मेक इट आर स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट एंड नाउ वेन सेम थिंग्स आर अपियरिंग एज फेजर्स एज टेक्निकल इन नेटवर्क मशीन पावर सिस्टम वी आर नॉट एबल टू कोप अप विद दैट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग द वेरी बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम रेक्टेंगुलर टू पोलर और फ्रॉम पोलर टू रेक्टेंगुलर दैट इज अबाउट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर ओके सो द रेक्टेंगुलर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज एक्स प्लस आयोटा वाई विच वी नाउ इन इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉल एज जे वाई डू वी कॉल इट एज जे because i is mostly used to represent the current flowing in a network so we represent iota by j what about polar in polar we write z as r e to the power j theta okay r is called as what it is called as magnitude and theta is called as argument okay and the complex plane the plane two dimensional plane in which we represent complex numbers is also called as argand plane so what is complex plane actually is it is a two dimensional plane with x and y axis with x axis as real part of z and y axis as imaginary part of z that is called as your argand plane or complex plane now let us understand first of all how do we expand this e to the power j theta is always expressed as cos theta plus j sin theta so z equal to r e to the power j theta is r cos theta plus j sin theta now this is called as r cos theta plus j r sin theta now compare it with the rectangular representation x plus j y so x will be counted as r cos theta y will be equal to r sin theta so that way we can convert from polar to rectangular okay now when we want to convert it other way around that is from rectangular to polar we must have an understanding about the quadrants we very well know that there are four quadrants okay these are our four quadrants x y first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant now basically here this r represents distance from origin this theta represents angle with positive real axis so r is the distance from origin and theta is the angle from positive real axis now suppose a complex number lies in the first quadrant how we can know it is lying in the first quadrant in first quadrant real part is positive and imaginary part is also positive if x and y both are positive then it is said to lie in the first quadrant this is the distance r that is the distance from origin 
दिस इज द एंगल थीटा दैट इज द एंगल मेड फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव रियल एक्सिस फ्रॉम हेयर वट आई कैन से ओके आई राइट हेयर फॉर फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट इफ यू अप्लाई पाइथागोरस थियोरम यू विल राइट आर एस अंडर रूट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर थीटा इफ यू सी टेन थीटा इन दिस ट्राइंगल दिस लेंथ इज वाई दिस लेंथ इज एक्स टेन थीटा इज वाई बाय एक्स सो थीटा इज टेन इनवर्स वाई बाय एक्स so that way we have found out the magnitude and the argument but first we need to know the quadrant in which the complex number lies now see in the second quadrant in the second quadrant what do we know here real part is negative imaginary part is positive so this will be the argument because i told you argument is the angle from positive real axis not from negative so this angle you always have to take from positive part of x you can't take from negative but if i mark this angle as some beta suppose beta what i can say in second quadrant theta is equal to 180 minus beta is it clear to all of you theta can be written as 180 minus beta because this entire angle is 180 now see in this triangle this length is y this length is x but i am only talking about length so what i'll take magnitude here i did not take magnitude because both were positive if i take magnitude of positive value that will come out to be positive since i am only talking about length i am taking mod so how you will write beta beta will be theta is 180 minus beta will be tan inverse mod y by mod x that is suppose i have a complex number let me take an example you will understand suppose i have a complex number minus 3 plus j2 i want to find magnitude and the angle magnitude is simple it is under root x square plus y square root 13 okay that is always the case under root x square plus y square but about theta as soon as i see this real part negative and imaginary part positive it is in second quadrant 180 minus tan inverse in tan inverse you will write just the magnitude you will not write the sign so that is 2 by 3 only magnitude we will not write minus 3 we will write only magnitude that is 3 okay and r will still be same under root x square plus y square now similarly in third quadrant suppose in third quadrant what is the characteristic feature how to identify x is negative y is also negative but now you see we cannot go beyond 180 if you take this angle this angle will be greater than 180 degree i am talking about this so we cannot take this angle why because there is a basic rule in complex numbers that argument cannot be greater than 180 degree argument can never be greater than 180 you cannot take this angle so what we have to take we will take this theta okay theta will be taken from positive real axis but in clockwise direction whenever angle is clockwise it is negative angle anti clockwise is always positive so see this angle is taken in the clockwise manner earlier the angle was being taken in the anti clockwise so this angle will be negative now how to find this angle 
बेसिकली बीटा सो इन थर्ड क्वार वट आई विल डू इज थीटा इज वन एट्टी माइनस बीटा अगेन बट ड्यू टू क्लॉक वाइज वी विल राइट अ माइनस साइन ओके दिस इज माइनस माइनस वन एट्टी प्लस बीटा अगेन इफ यू टेक दिस ट्राइंगल दिस लेंथ इज मॉड वाई दिस लेंथ इज मॉड एक्स सो बीटा वी कैन राइट एज फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल टेन इनवर्स मॉड वाई बाय मॉड एक्स वट आई मीन टू से इज इफ जेड वॉज गिवन एज लाइक दिस माइनस थ्री माइनस जे टू आर विल अगेन बी सेम माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर दैट इज रूट थर्टीन बट थीटा माइनस वन एटी प्लस टेन इनवर्स अगेन यू विल जस्ट टेक द मैग्नीट्यूड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ माइनस टू दैट इज टू मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ माइनस थ्री इज थ्री लाइक दिस ओके एंड द लास्ट वन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फोर्थ क्वार ओके हियर दिस वॉज सेकेंड क्वार सिंस बोथ वर नेगेटिव इट वॉज थर्ड क्वार In fourth, if you see, x is positive, and y, since it is downwards, y is negative. X positive, y negative. So this is how we will take theta. Now theta is being taken from the positive real axis, but see, it is clockwise. If it is clockwise, it will be taken as negative. Again, this is mod y. This is mod x. so in fourth quadrant theta will be minus tan inverse mod y by mod x okay and r remains same in all the cases so whenever a complex number is given to you in rectangular coordinates that is x plus iota y first find the quadrant in which it lies magnitude is simple under root r square plus sorry under root x square plus y square and angle angle always depends on the quadrant in which your complex number lies this concept is very much used in control systems power system machine all these subjects now the thing is that in offline calculator we are very easily able to convert rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular but what happens in this case in the case of virtual calculator for virtual calculator you have to remember certain angles and the triangle okay see if i talk about 30 degree वन रूट थ्री टू दैट इज योर थर्टी डिग्री ट्राइंगल फोर्टी फाइव वन वन टू देन सिक्सटी डिग्री वन रूट थ्री टू ओके these are the common ratios that we have studied in trigonometry earlier also now some more ratios that you see now 36.86 degree 36.86 degree 3 4 that is 36.86 this is 5 then 90 minus 36.86 that is 53.13 3 4 5 that is 53.13 other than that what i remember one more is 25.84 1 2 √5 5 again 90 25.84 how much it will be 64 0.15 or 16 it will be opposite okay 
sorry this will be 2 this will be 1 this will be 2 this will be 1 okay so these are some common angles or common ratios that you have to remember these two are very important if you remember this triangle 3 4 and 5 that way you won't have to approximate like here if i find cos 36.86 cos theta is base upon hypotenuse 4 upon 5.8 sin theta perpendicular upon hypotenuse 3 upon 5.6 okay and then tan theta perpendicular by base 3 by 4.75 here tan theta 4 by 3 cos theta 3 by 5 sin theta 4 by 5 so if you remember these triangles then some angles you already remember and that way you can easily convert from polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar but while solving any problem based on a complex number try and solve the problem in rectangular coordinates because that is easy to compute and that will give you always the exact result another thing to remember while solving such problems never convert fraction into decimal always solve in fraction fractions take less amount of time and they can be solved manually but decimal values sometimes cannot be dealt manually so always remember solve in fraction remember certain angles and remember how to find the argument in different quadrants okay that is the basic concept behind conversion of coordinates from rectangular to polar and vice versa and there is no direct method in the calculator that is provided to you so you have to do it manually is it fine so there is no such secret there is no such shortcut you have to understand these concepts so i hope now you will be able to convert the coordinates from one domain to another and there will be no doubt regarding this thank you